back to L Talks. This is my second episode. I just want to give a big thanks to all the support so far. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, today I'm going to talk about the very first stand-up set I ever did. It was on 22nd of August 2019 at the Battle of the Axe. In, it's located in Dublin, Ireland at the Haypenny Bridge Inn. Um, so I had a week off work at that stage and it was going to be on Thursdays and Tuesdays the Battle of the Axe they hold um, a set for the Axe that are established and then on Thursdays is when new people can try it out some of them for the very first time which like I was that day uh, so yeah I was I took a week off work and it was falling on Thursday that the way I had it all planned was that I was in Belfast for two days then I came back on Wednesday uh, to the town where I live which is nowhere near Dublin to the middle of the country and then Thursday I travelled up and I get to the place the MC for the night was Porig Williams who's a great stand up he's very very funny um, he does he has two bits that are the, are my favourite because I've been I've been to Battle of the Axe twice just to see uh, how its routine is planned out and the axe and everything else so I just couldn't get a feel and I spoke to some of the people about possibly doing stand up because at this stage I was thinking about it and later on actually there was a one of the comics I seen it was one of the first that was performing the very first time I went up there and he was doing crowd work and I was he commented on the way I was dressed and later on after I did a, f a few sets in there uh, he was there and I caught up with him He at this stage he had a child and I was asking him if the, if he actually did have a child it was just a joke for his stand up he said no no I actually did have the kid it's like oh okay because he's his comedy style is kind of like that it's just um, so and then I told him that because I told him that the first two times I went up that I was thinking about doing he's like oh yeah definitely give it a go and then that time I met him at this stage I think I did two sets already and then I said oh you know I actually did get up and go wow that's great you know because it said a lot of people think about but never do so I get there at half nine and all the comedians sitting around the, this table at the back where they all sit so I get up there and I sit down and Park, Park uh, no, sorry not Park uh, Williams explains that you know this is usually how it goes and there's what I, I expect and that night there was another person that was doing stand up for the very first time so he's like this is really good because you, you know a lot of these people they're there every week you know every Tuesday and every Thursday so like it's good to see new acts and the guy who I was gonna go up last which I didn't mind because you know I, if I went down first and I sucked then the whole show would be ruined I just I didn't want to bring that vibe on so the guy who was going on second last he was also performing for the first time and he was sitting there and he was saying to me oh I'm so nervous I'm so nervous like I'm just literally doing three jokes I'm getting off the stage and I was like, oh, you know, if that's what you have, that's what you have. Um, so how the show is structured, there's usually three acts of break, three acts, and that's how, you know, two, three acts break, two, three acts break. So the, the last part of the show is after the second break, and I think it was one more person before me and the other fella. I, I can't remember his name. He ever since I only met him that one night. I don't think he's actually come back to stand up since, which is unfortunate because he was really funny. Those jokes were great. Um, I'm not gonna say them, but they were good. Um, so, and it came to his turn. So he got up, uh, but before we got up, Parik said, "Look, you know the last two acts." It's the very first time doing stand up. And no heckling. If anyone heckles, you're out. You're kicked out of the show. That's it. 
and that's why I have gone back to this place since because ever since the very first time doing it there's other comedy clubs in Dublin but the reason I enjoy this is because they welcome you they welcome you as though you've been friends for years so he gets up and through his word that, that man did his three jokes and he got off and he um because he did his three jokes and then he said he goes I'm not going because it was supposed to be a seven minute set I think it was about four minutes in and then he looked at Porig and he said that's it you know I'm coming off and he's like okay so and then it was my turn to go up and I decided for shits and giggles that I would wear um, <laughs> I put on a cowboy hat for my first set just to make light of this situation just and then also so people to remember me and all that to do to stand up with a cowboy hat um so i got up park and juice man stage and i get up and he hands me the microphone and i look at the microphone and i look at the crowd and i realized that if i didn't start talking in the first 30 seconds that i wasn't going to talk so I started talking. Uh, I did a joke which I had written. It basically it was a accumulation of jokes. Um, it started off as one kind of premise that I'd come up and I'd said it to a couple of friends for years, and and then I was like, you know what? I heard about something else, and then I added that bit onto it. So that's I started off with that joke, and then people laughed. Now I was like okay shit now I have to continue because it was maybe about the, the, the whole setup for the joke maybe a minute and a half maybe two minutes max and then I tried out this other joke I come up with it wasn't ready but I just wanted to try it out see how the crowd would take it and it didn't go well so I was kind of started to panic a little bit um, I started to panic but then I was like, okay, just continue on with what I've prepared. And I did the last, I think it was two more jokes after that. That was pretty much it. I kind of looked over at and said, time. He's like, yeah, if you want to leave it, you can go. I was like, okay, so that's that. So I get off stage, you know, put the microphone in the stand and get off stage. And I walk over and all the other comedians there. Because the first two jokes, they were jokes, but the rest were kind of short stories about me me growing up in Russian childhood and stuff like that and then a few of the comedians came over and they said that was really good they said not a lot, a lot of people another com big time comedians have said this as well um, because comedy before used to be people used to tell stories but it, this still exists but not as much as it would have been before a great example of this is George Lopez, Dave Chappelle. I actually see them in a comment on a YouTube video underneath one of Chappelle's videos. Um, he they said it was actually on when he came on the Joe Rogan podcast. And they said Dave Chappelle talks and sometimes just jokes, but that's what I wanted from my comedy because my idols would have been the likes of Richard Pryor, um, you know, George Carlin who in Bill Hicks they laid the foundations for the comics that we have today in my opinion and it, it was really good to get that praise and that was one of the reasons I went back and did more sets was because that place was really welcoming and I've been there the two times before just to see how the shows were and one of my friends who's a musician who later on will be a guest on the show um, whenever the pandemic subsides and we can get together with his band and everything else he said that he used to it, it is a stand up open mic but they do allow m musicians on there and as such so, and he said he used to be dead two sets in there or I think one or two sets before um Actually, the same night I did stand up my friend's band, uh, they call the Plastic Cowboys. They're on Spotify if you want to check them out. 
uh, he ever said in uh, one of the pubs there it's a music well pub in a music venue called Wheelands so after my set I mean it you know I just talked to some of the comics for a little bit because where the Hay Penny Bridge in is where Wheelands is it's, it's a good bit of a distance and I don't know maybe a kilometer or so so you know I just want to get down there and so when I got to the door at Wheelands one of the performers um was actually at the stand, I'm sure she was performing, and I get to the door wheels, but she left early, I think she was, uh, because this, uh, the Wheelands venue is really big, so there's a couple of bands playing, and I think she was over there seeing you know, one of her friend's bands, so I get to the door, and it's like, hey, you were at the stand-up, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I go, oh, you missed me, because I actually performed, she goes, really, because goes, how did get on, I was like, it was good, like, you know, other than that little hiccup that I had with that second joke that it wasn't really what I realized later on in later sets is that joke was yeah, I had to restructure, but I didn't mind. Um, at the time, I didn't know that, but you know, you we live and you learn. So, uh, so I get to Wheeland, and you know, I'm obviously still wearing the clothes that I wore to stand up, and I'm in there in a cowboy hat, and I go with the. The stage was set up in an area uh, upstairs, so I was, as I was walking through, there was like three or four other people in cowboy hats that night as well, which made it really funny. And we're, but eventually all of us were in the area where the band was playing, all four of us, it was funny, uh, to say the least. So, so I was glad with the hat choice that day anyway, but what I realized is wearing it for a prolonged amount of time because it's a leather cowboy hat your head really sweats so yeah yeah that was my first up stand up set I think that's pretty much all that happened that night um, so I will be back next week I think it'll be uploading on Tuesdays I'll, I'll try to aim for Tuesdays but I don't know if that'll always be happening it depends how my schedule is with work and everything else so um, we shall see but for the time being I will, Tuesdays I think will be the day these will be going up and uh, so stay tuned for episode 3 where I will go into my second ever set which mm, didn't go that well but I learned from it so that's the main thing actually funny enough the one joke that did work out well was the second one that didn't work the very first time which because I restructured how I said it but anyway that's uh, on next week's well, be two weeks time episode because this is what would it be next week I think it, because this is because I'm recording ahead so I think it'll be two weeks time. Um, but anyway, thank you for the support. And I also have a Facebook page called Alex the Stand Up. If you want to check that out. Um, I think I'm going to put a link in the, either in the description or in a pinned comment down below. Okay. Um, so thank you for all the support so far. And uh, I'll see you next week.